Well, I'm Andrew Hosey. I'm on this trip to survey the crustacean fauna of these uh, reefs and islands around the Kimberley region. This little hermit crab, well, quite large hermit crab, is called Dardanus. Now, Dardanus uh, is known as one of the left-handed hermit crabs, and unfortunately, he's gone into his shell. <laughs> as the name suggests, the left claw is actually larger than the right claw. Now, these guys are usually scavengers. This particular guy, I think, might actually be more of a grazer, as well, even omnivore, omnivore, eating whatever it comes across. These guys burrow in the reef. Uh, this particular guy belongs to the genus Cytoleptus. This particular one, being a female, is currently carrying eggs. Oops, if I can get it off. You can see, carried the eggs under the abdomen. Uh, based on the small eye spots I can see on the uh, in the eggs, uh, I think these guys are probably getting f close to hatching. Um, so I'm going to let this guy go and put him back. Oh, woman? At least you can find some cover. Now this little fellow here is called Alpheus. He belongs to a family of shrimp commonly called the pistol shrimp or the snapping shrimp. They get this name from their large claw which when they close it makes a large or loud snapping noise like when the claw, claw closes it forms a small uh, what's called a cavitation where a small vacuum bubble forms within the within the claw itself and when that collapses it causes a large sound, a flash of light, and apparently temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. This little hairy fellow is called Palumnus vespertilio. Now you'll notice that it's obviously quite fluffy. Uh, obviously the word fluffy doesn't quite apply with crabs normally, but this guy with his long hairs uh, collects a lot of the sediments, the muds and sands, and making a perfect camouflage along the reef. Inside some of the sponges in these reefs are small ghost shrimp. Now they live inside small cavities in, in the sponge and they get in there when they're larvae and basically they get too big to get back out again so they form these small cavities and they form mate pairs where a male and a female will join inside the cavity and basically live there for their entire lives uh, drawing in water through channels in the sponge to filter feed and they'll live the rest of their lives uh, releasing eggs into the water column through uh, the little channel in the sponge uh, where the larvae will swim around look for the new host and start life anew.